Hi, Mary here at Mary's Heirloom Seeds and today we're going to use our Mountain Flower Compost Mix. Uh, in our day nine of our series, Grow Your Own Food in 100 Days or Less, we discuss the importance of nitrogen in your garden. Um, without proper nitrogen, your plants are going to look sickly yellow and maybe they'll be stunted. So in order to add nitrogen to your garden, maybe it's already planted and you're having yellowing issues, you're going to need a liquid feed. Our Mountain Flower Compost Tea is an NPK of 655. So that's a really good liquid tea to use in your garden. Um, this is a one packet for a one gallon. So we're gonna open it up here and you'll see that it's a, it's a gray. greenish gray but once we add water to it it's going to be a nice deep color so this is a five gallon bucket we're going to add approximately two gallons one packet one packet makes one gallon but we're gonna go ahead and have a a diluted version we're going to use this on our garlic beds today so we don't necessarily want the strongest um, ratio on this one now we're going to scoop it out and we'll show you how deep brown that is this is going to be excellent for our garden ready to use some mountain flower compost in the garden? Let's go. Here we are back in the garden with our garlic beds and we have our bucket here of mountain flower compost tea. We're going to use one cup or more per garlic and we're just going to pour it around the root. Take another one and put around there. It's this simple, guys. Girls too, everybody, people. <laughs> We've already fertilized this bed with kelp meal in the beginning. And we have found that when we use the compost tea that it really perks up our plants. Kind of like a wheatgrass shot or an energy drink, depending on what you use. It's been really great in our garden. So again, we're using Mountain Flower Compost Tea Mix. We used it one part to two gallons of water instead of one. You can always use one gallon of water instead. And we're gonna bring these garlic, perk them back up, a little bit of fuel. And that's it. Thank you for joining us in our series, Grow Your Own Food in 100 Days or Less. If you have any questions, please feel free to email us. Send the email to mary at marysheirloomseeds.com. You can also comment on our blog, on our Facebook, or our YouTube channel. Uh, you can call us if you really want to as well. You can find all of our information at www.marysheirloomseeds.com and happy planting.